Hey everybody! In this tutorial, I am going to show you three fun ways to do mixed media skies with your gel press. I have my 5x7 gel press set up on a magazine page that had some clouds on it, and I have a really terrible paintbrush here. <laughs> this is the paintbrush that I use when I'm sort of going to be abusing a paintbrush. I have the white alcohol ink mixative on a little piece of cut up craft sheet and I'm going to use the terrible paintbrush and paint that on. Now the reason I'm using a magazine page as a guide is to keep me from doing kind of those cartoonish clouds that I tend to draw like you would do in kindergarten and I wanted them to be in kind of a natural placement around the scene and I figured it was just better to do that with a picture than to rely on my own brain. Being random is very hard since this is an actual photograph. I thought that it would look more natural if I just painted it and that's what's great about the gel press is you can see through it so you can paint anything that's underneath it. This is just from a fashion magazine that I use for image transfers on my gel press. So as I'm painting, you'll see that the mixative lets some light through, so to speak. So it's not completely covering every bit of the gel press. And that's the thing about alcohol ink is you can get to a point where if the alcohol ink is dry enough, it will lift if you put more alcohol ink on top of it. So I'm doing two things. I'm working quickly and I'm leaving the natural little spaces where the brush is pulling the ink up off of the gel press or not covering it entirely because that's going to let my lift layer show through. So don't worry if these aren't bright white solid images when you're doing this. Now I'm using my little hand dryer to dry this. You don't want to apply heat to your gel press. And then I'm going to add two colors of golden open paint, my two favorite colors, magenta and Indian yellow. And I'm just putting little dots of them next to each other just so that when I run my brayer over it, those two colors will mix together. I'm using a small brayer here only because my large one is soaking. I need to scrub off the accumulated paint from a few weeks worth of gel press printing. I like to do gel press printing on my daily lives. It's very fun. I kind of experiment and work things out. And if you want to join my Facebook group, it is called Understand Blue Class Group. And I do a live every day at 3 p.m. Central and just experiment with all kinds of things. Now you can see the word through my gel press. You always want your lift layers to be very thin layers. That's why I always have a piece of paper off to the side to remove excess paint from my brayer. Now I will say that Golden Open, because it's an open medium, sometimes doesn't dry quickly enough to be the most effective lift layer. But if you apply a thin enough layer, it will work great. It's my favorite paint for gel press printing, so I try to make it work in every instance, but you can see a little bit of the alcohol ink is remaining on that plate. So I'll just rub it a little bit more, and if not all of it comes up, it's fine. It's no big deal. Perfection is for serial killers. So I'm pulling this off, and you can see those fluffy little clouds. You can see that you can see through part of them to the paint in the background, which I love. That's where the little brush strokes let you see through, and it's fantastic. So I'll do another version here with a blue palette, and I will just paint the clouds again. You'll see me put multiple small puddles of the mixative down onto my craft sheet. And that's because those petals will dry very quickly as you're removing paint from them. So in order not to waste the medium, 
I'm just doing a little bit at a time. So I will get this all painted. I love that it says this is a message of hope. That's kind of nice. I don't know what this was an ad for, but it was perfect for this project. So I'll hand dry again. And this time I'm going to use some different paints. I'll be using a fluid acrylic. I'll be using a traditional acrylic and a few other mix. I'm just mixing up all of my paints. This is a Dina Wakely paint that I'm running out of. It's my favorite. And then a fluid acrylic. And just a touch of that magenta on the bottom. I'm actually trying to create something that looks like a little strip of land at the bottom of this scene for a card that you will see. One of the reasons I like to print on my 5x7 gel press is I can cut it in half and get two cards. So that's a really effective way to print for me. So there it is. I love the blue version. Now this time I'm going to try to make a galaxy background. So I'm going to just splatter on the mixative and get some little stars and constellations. Now a toothbrush is such a great splattering brush. It's kind of my old standby. I do have an actual splatter brush and the advantage to the splatter brush is you can cover a larger area and it doesn't have kind of a defined shape. Like you can almost see when I'm spattering off this toothbrush, the toothbrush shape in the little spatters. So you can get a spatter brush if you want. I'll link you to one in the description below. But I'm drawing these very fine little dots of white mixative before adding the background. Now I forgot what order I was doing it in. So you can see I did put a couple of little drops of paint already down on the plate before I spattered. I just sort of lost track of what I was doing. So that's what those little dots are. But I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to have some purple. I'm going to have some black. I have a couple little spots of pink, some blue, a darker blue as well. I'm going for a very colorful sky here. So I will brayer this all out. I love how dominant that purple is. And actually, now that I think about it, I think that might have been a dark blue paint, not a black paint, but I'm not sure. So here I will pull this print. This one pulls very cleanly. It's going to get all of those little stars off of that plate, and it's really fun. And those just add little pops and in interest. So much fun. So I'll repeat this process again with a little bit darker sky in the background. And this time I remembered what order to do it in and I didn't put any colored paint down on the plate. Then I just tap the toothbrush around for some kind of larger little clusters of white dots. You can do this any way you want. Just make sure that the alcohol ink isn't so thick that it won't dry very quickly because you do need it to be completely dry before you lift it. Now I'm sort of looking at my other print and trying to decide how much of each color I want. I want this one to be a little bit darker. So I'm using a little bit less of the purple and a little bit more of the black. And I got kind of a lot on there, so I'm removing that with my toothbrush instead of just removing it with my brayer. So you'll want to get the lift layer thin again. You can see that I'm doing that here and at one point it actually starts to lift the paint that's down on the plate. So I'm reapplying the purple all over. That can happen when your paint gets too dry or you've brayered it too much. So there's that final print and then here are the cards that I made. Super cute little frogs. Head over to my blog for more information on these cards and thanks so much for watching.